Hey, Isaiah in our showroom here at Lancaster County Marine. And today we've got one of the fun, exciting Hobie Mirage Lynxes we're gonna look at. So this is a brand new boat in the lineup for Hobie this year. And this is, looks a little different, made from Ace Tech material. If you're unfamiliar with that, you definitely wanna go online and take a look at that material. But built in two hot color options. This color option is your more visible, papaya orange in the top, white in the bottom. And then the ivory dune is an option which gives you the ivory deck and a tannish bottom as well. Um, on these boats, what is so cool about the design is the lightweight and durability that they've built these to be. So this boat comes in at only 45 pounds without the gear on it, which is just incredible. Seat comes off, drive comes off, paddle comes off, and the rudder system easily comes off the boat. We're gonna show you all that then. The other things to look at is you're only 61 pounds with all that gear on the boat. Today, let's take a walk through. Let's look bow to stern at the boat quick, and then we're gonna take and take all the things off and just show you the bottom of the boat and the flat hull design. Looking at the front here, you're gonna have bow and stern handles on these boats. And uh, looking back through here, bow and stern deck bungees on here for gear that you might put on. You might notice on the links, there is no storage compartments drilled into this boat. It's not possible with the material and how it works. So um, to add storage to this boat, you're gonna wanna add some kind of crate on the back. The Hobie H crate's an awesome option, but there's other crates being built you could add on as well for storage. This is your sail mast or bimini sunshade mast right there. That's very important to give you accessory options on this boat. You also notice on either side right here that you've got some inserts right there. That's designed for the Hobie H bar. The stand up bar can be added onto this boat at any time. Also, you can add the Hobie H rail system onto this boat if you wanna make it more fishing oriented as well. Coming standard is integrated track systems right and left hand side. Notice when we look in the drive well right here, we have the Hobie Mirage Drive 180. This comes with kick up fins technology on the bottom to remove the drive, pull back on those, that comes out. And like we said, it's all kick up technology. So the brand new technology is built into the drive and these are forward and reverse. So you can shift it reverse and move it in reverse or forward. That's how that works. And it's all adjustable for your leg length. Looking at the cockpit area right here, you're gonna notice a couple things. You still have your integrated hook system to keep the drive flat against the bottom, built into the seat. You also have the beautiful and comfortable EVA deck padding done here. Hobie did a beautiful job on that, putting her logo in the Lynx name to make it very visible and noticeable. But also, look how much flat surface area you have here for your feet when you stand up. Also in the middle right here, we'll show how easily these are to use later. But the center grab handles right there that are through bolted nicely. Looking at the seat, this is a very cool setup. So they're using a lawn chair style mesh seating and this is a very comfortable design, so, and it's breathable. You can see how breathable that mesh is right there. What they've done is they've designed the seat more similar to what they uh, do on the inflatable versions of the Hobies, that you can take your steering and mount it right or left side of the seat. Cup holder also can mount on either side, and how you do that is there's a little knob underneath that allows you to simply slide the item on and off. So same thing on the steering. When you want to take that apart, you're going to pull down on that little knob and you can retract that off. And if you wanted to, you could move the steering over here to the right side. Hobies traditionally will have the steering mounted on the left side of most boats. And that's excluding the Pro Angler and the Outback Series, which have it on both sides. So traditionally we're used to using it on the left side, but if you're a lefty and you prefer it on the right side, so your left hand is free to fish, this gives you the ability to move it to the other side and really tailor it to you. Pretty cool how it works and just simplicity of how it works. Seat easily removes from the boat. We'll show that later. And then when we look back through here, you're gonna see we talked about their rear cargo bungees as well. You can see those. Also back here, this is ready for a micro power pull. If you're going to do an electronic anchoring system on the boat, they have all the fastener, everything is ready for the screws to mount that to the boat. Paddle keeper is off on the right side. They do a simple little strap here, kind of a bungee strap that goes back to just a knob, just a simple, easy way of doing things. And you're gonna notice if we look at the capacity plate here, 
one person's or 275 pounds. That is ideal maximum paddler or peddler weight for this boat. But the boat will handle up to 350 pounds. That's person gear and everything on the boat. So that's the buoyancy of what this boat can handle. Looking back through at the back here at the rest of the features, you're gonna notice the rudder system back here. And it is a very high quality rudder system. Hobie did very smooth on how it operates right there. The rudder, when it's deployed, will kick up if it hits something and it's spring loaded. So obviously if it kicks up, it'll come up about to the boat height and pop back down. The rudder is can be kicked up onto the deck for storage. And you can also, you see this little red knob here. This is how the rudder attaches to the boat. So when you pull that little knob, the rudder pops right out of there. So again, simple, has nice engagement when it plugs in and pops right out. So what I wanna show you today, the other big thing about this boat is let's flip it over and look at the flat bottom hull design. And also let's show the weight of this boat. It's very important to see. So I'm gonna de-rig the boat now. Now with the seat off on this boat, now we're down to that 45 pounds. So let's check the balance that Hobie's done here. Oh, that is beautiful. Very simple balance point right there. So folks that are loading these boats onto rooftops, very important. This is a very simple board to load up. I say board, it's kind of like a SUP in a way. It's a hybrid between an SUP and a uh, kayak. So very cool. Looking at the bottom design, here's what I wanted to show you. If you choose to use a cart with this, you still have the integrated scupper holes that you can plug a cart into, and that's ready to go. Looking right here, very important to you fishermen out there. See how elongated this transducer ready plate is. So they've designed this that if you're gonna be doing any kind of side imaging technology on your fish finder, that it will accept that fish finder transducer on there. Also two integrated uh, drain plugs on the back on either side right there. So that is the first look that we have had at the Hobie Mirage Lynx. We're really proud that Hobie can offer such a cool boat right here. And we're proud to be able to sell them to you. So feel free to contact our store, Lan Lancaster County Marine. Our website is lcmboating.com and our phone number is 717-859-1121. Give us a call, let us know what color you're interested in buying and we can make sure that we can uh, get you one of these boats coming up here shortly. Thanks again for watching this video. Take care.